In the sound of the silence, I can move like the wind. With the eyes on my target, I will bloom in my sin. Wide awake like I'm dreaming, getting closer to midnight, 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 midnight. midnight. Can you hear it? My blood is singing. I will wait for you. Go out. Hello. Hello, good evening, because it is always evening somewhere in the world of darkness. And welcome to our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle, PAX West Special Edition, Seattle by Night. Thank you all very much for being here with us today. We are delighted to be here in Seattle with you because, of course, there might be a connection between Seattle and a certain video game that you may have just seen the trailer for. Bloodlines 2, coming to your city soon. So, let's meet our kindred. Playing Beatrice Bootleg Betty Lancaster of Clan La Sombra. Jasmine Bular. This is the wrong side, I've already messed up. <laughs> you start at two hunger. <sighs> I know. Right? My willpower is already waning, Jason Carl. Oh, <laughs> those are the breaks, those are the breaks. You've seen him recently in uh, Exandria Unlimited Calamity, in Candela Obscura. Please welcome playing Enrique Rico. <laughs> Luis Carrazo. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Seattle, bitch! <laughs> And now playing a Nosferatu who almost needs no introduction. Jameson Keene, the heist master himself. Jerry Hawkins. I thought our thing was this. Yeah. That's our thing. You're no, welcome. Is it, is yeah, it, is it welcome. This? I stay chomping. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> And last, but certainly not least. <laughs> Wait for it. Tattoo Tom Hollandaise of Clan Toreador, Mike Krahulik. Yay! Yay! I love you, Tom! Whoa, who said that? Hey, everybody. <laughs> Family reunion. Indeed. Mm. Indeed. It's been They're a long time so coming. Sweet. They're always so sweet. Good evening, vampires. Are we hungry? We're starving. Ravenous. You tell me. Are we going to have to do a rouse? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How hungry am I? 
Let's find out, shall we? Okay. Red hunger die. Oh, roll them. Oh, oh no. God. Okay. Just rolling one of these? Yeah. Oh, oh man. No. <laughs> I have to assume that blank is good. You assume correctly. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Wait, blank is good? Blank is good. Oh, I'm good. Yeah, also good over here. Now, obviously, there's a lot riding on this, Louise. Oh, I, uh, I got the, you know, nice, pretty little skull. So, I lied. <laughs> Blank is hungry. Oh, oh, what the? What? I just wanted to give you an indication of how this is going to go. <laughs> <laughs> what I just wanted that? to give you the preview. So you're saying that it's big hunger on this side. Mm, you know, um, unreliable narrators have always been a feature of the world of darkness. And I don't see why this table should be any No, exception. no, no. Right. Right. Begin as you mean to go on. As I mean to go on. Yes, indeed. No, if, oh. uh, if you have rolled a blank, it is a failure. Uh -huh. Start with what, hunger. What if you rolled like, just hypothetically, hypothetically speaking, what if you rolled like a critical failure? Mm, it's still just a failure on this. Oh, good. <laughs> just, it's a good thing that was a hypothetical question, but yeah. <laughs> so, so we're all hungry. Everybody failed. <laughs> yes. Everybody, everybody failed. failed. We're all hunger. failures. Well, yeah. you know, for, for, uh, for our uh, audience members and our, uh, our streaming audience who, who may not be quite familiar with the hunger system as we are, we'll, we'll uh, recap very briefly. We measure hunger because everybody knows what it feels like to be hungry. We've all skipped lunch and become hangry. Well, become right? beasts. <clears throat> hunger. Beasts, you say. So you might say a beast you are, a list of beasts you become. Indeed. Yeah, I've heard that. Mm -hmm. It's your things I hear. Zero hunger, you're fine. One hunger, I could eat. I could eat. Could you eat? I could eat. Yeah. Yeah. Two hunger. When is lunch? <laughs> lunch would be good. Three hunger. Hangry. Yeah. If I do not eat right now, somebody will get hurt. Mm. Four hunger is riding the ragged edge of disaster. And five hunger, of course, the slightest provocation can send you over the edge into the dreaded hunger frenzy. Nothing good comes of that. And we're so all starting with one? You're all starting with one hunger. So as you rise tonight, as your eyes open, as uh, you greet the night anew, the beast stirs within you. You feel it clawing at its internal cage. And you're hungry. One hunger is manageable. Does anyone want to sate that hunger before they go out into the night? Or are you willing to, to live with it? Because, of course, remember that your dice pools include your hunger dice. And when bad things happen when you're hungry, bad things happen to those around you. But one hunger is manageable. Well, I mean, I, I'm willing to let one hunger ride. And obviously, Jameson Keene knows, as I'm sure do his, his friends and allies, that Seattle has historically been known uh, as a town Four eaters. Mm. Yeah. And so this is, uh, the, the, the true gastronome finds their, their most perfect expression here. So. True. Uh, Rico's going to write it out. He's used to intermittent fasting. So, uh, <laughs> oh, <gotcha>. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one hunger is no big deal. Yeah. He's riding all the trends. You know, <laughs> it's going to be that kind of story. Okay. <laughs> so everyone's willing to let it ride yeah, for Tom, now. Tom's good to go. Yeah. Tom is good to go. Let's let it ride. No hunting for the moment. <laughs> Betty's got a flask. As usual. Of like old rancid blood that nobody else drinks except for her. Oh, it's disgusting. Well, she doesn't like it until it's thick. You know what I mean? Yeah, she's got iron gullet, so she can drink blood that's like really nasty. Fermented blood is the yeah, best. Yeah, it's just old. It's good. But she's heard from her younger coterie members that fermented food is like good for your gut. And so she's <laughs> your your biome? Yeah, she's <laughs> been like letting it really sit. It's the good bacteria. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if the, the bacteria that's in old blood is the good bacteria. Are you sure? Classically speaking. I don't hmm. think that's how any of this works. <laughs> yeah. But we'll find out. I suspect. Last night, Beatrice, Betty, you had an encounter. Mm -hmm. Things happened. Mm -hmm. Words were said. Mm -hmm. Kindred yes. were met. Because when we laughed, last left this coterie, you had just performed sterling service for one dread Vincent Gravenstein, the kindred Cuisinart of Tacoma. And 
assisted him in his ascension to Praxis, the Princeton, or so he claimed. So, fresh from that success, you elected to try to move up the undead ladder and gain entry into a more exclusive club, the Kemmerle Court of Seattle. Betty, acting as advanced scout, made her way into the city already and had an encounter there. And she met a new associate. So, this guy. I'm going to call upon Betty to decide how and where we begin. Yeah. How would you like to deal with what you've heard mm -hmm. and share it with your associates? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Um, I think uh, Betty remembering, it's been, it's been a while since we've all met up. It's been a while. It's been a while. I'm, so, I'm glad you did it. <laughs> I, it's a sustained and, song, I can't help it. Yeah. And I think Betty remembering an old Nosferatu trick uh, remembers a couple of the dead drops in Ballard, where one can leave a note Indeed. for a Nosferatu who knows where to find it. And pen and paper is uh, Betty's preferred mode of communication since uh, it, she was born in the... <laughs> she, she came to her heyday in the 30s. It, it's um, it's, a, it's a, an instrument of a more genteel age. Certainly would be well received by some. So you're going to use the dead drop in Ballard, that old dry paint can. <laughs> behind the game store. De <laughs> Dearest Jameson Keen, I miss you so dearly. It's been so long since we've gotten together and had a glass of something crimson together. You wound me with how busy you are. <laughs> <laughs> but I find myself in dire need of not only your company, but your wits, and your smarts, and your discretion. Please meet me in the filthy gum alley. <laughs> near Pike Place. Great. And can you please bring my dearest condiment? You know who, winky face. <laughs> <laughs> Surely there must be more. Oh, well. He gave me a number, but I simply do not know where to input this number to make it go to him. <laughs> <laughs> All of my love, <clears throat> B. Lancaster, XO, 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 XO. Yes, I yes. heard the kids are doing that these yes, days. Yes, Beatrice, that's quite enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so I, basically I need to, I need to get uh, Mr. Hollandaise um, back into the mix. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and of course, so I'm going to send a, a text to Mr. Hollandaise. And I have a difficult time knowing you know, how much capitalization is correct. Um, and as a result, uh, I... I just standardize on all capitals. <laughs> <clears throat> Dear Mr. Hollandaise, uh, our mutual uh, bootleg acquaintance, these are in quotes, um, uh, has summoned us, uh, and we are honor bound uh, to meet her at the most filthy place I can possibly imagine. <laughs> You will be scandalized to learn. And then now you see, type, I'm typing, Tom's yeah, typing. Yeah, I see the dots yeah. come up. Yes. Why are you yelling? <laughs> Sir, I assure you that I am not yelling. <laughs> this is a common mode of communication amongst the youth. <clears throat> and I say, you will be scandalized to learn that the gum wall, that wretched place, <laughs> Uh, is somehow now in this benighted age considered a reasonable uh, location uh, to meet. And I know that you are as scandalized as I am, but sir, we must persevere. You can see Tom typing, always wanted to go there. <laughs> uh, I, I say yes, uh, irony is the basest form of wit. And uh, I shall see thee there forthwith 
Yours, YRS. I signed the text like a letter. <laughs> Mr. Jameson Keen. Smiley face emoji. <laughs> Smiley face. Just one? Just one. Just one. No, I and shudder. No, <laughs> but, these sigils. But no heart. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. no heart. No heart. Okay. Let's talk about Tom. Oh. Yeah, let's talk about Tom. Let's, yeah, well, let's, let's, let's talk about Tom. Okay. Let's talk Where about are Tom. you when you get this text? Talk about Tom. <laughs> I don't know. I'm probably, do I, I assume that I have like a hole somewhere that I can chill in? <laughs> oh, <we laughs> what it requires chilling. Yeah, you certainly do have a haven. When last we saw you, you had, uh, I believe, sweeping, sleeping quarters behind a tattoo parlor. A right. safe bolt hole protected from the sun. What we're curious to know is, have you moved on or are you still crashing there. No, Tom doesn't move on. No. Tom is still crashing. Like enough of that right there. Mm. Yeah, he's, yeah, right he's there. on whatever couch he can get on. I think that he slept in the same places before his embrace. Yeah. I think that he hasn't changed that part at all. If you see him at the gun wall, he's wearing the same clothes, <laughs> the same Crocs, everything that you saw him in before. Let's get to that. <laughs> I, I, I can hardly wait. Um, yeah. Any other preparations that I should know about? Um, I think I would have. I'm I, with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I, I would I have you. asked you. Now I've, I'm going to introduce you to the most important individuals in my own life, and um, I trust you to mind your p's and q's around them. Of I know course. sometimes kindred can be like, Ugh, I'm a creature of the night. If you do that, I will. <laughs> Uh, Smite no, you. that's yeah. not my... Okay. Well, I mean, it's not typically my style, but if you're going to threaten me with a good time, then <laughs> I might... Just kidding. <laughs> As um, I already noticed you, like, kind of your eyes recoil. get wide and respect oh. recoil. Um, Rico, no. W with my wonderful friends coming here, I was hoping, since you seem to be so um, capable with your big, strong self, of just making sure that the alley is secure so that I'm not potentially inviting my friends to a trap. And also, could you try on these Crocs? Because I believe your feet are about the same size as Tom's. You, you, want, me to, you want me to break these in for him? Yeah, just try them on and see if he'll like them, if you don't mind. My pleasure. Okay, so then, and just... I'm absolutely throwing these Crocs on with <laughs> utter pleasure. The idea of knowing that someone is going to put their feet where my feet have been already <laughs> is really exciting for me. Yeah, new, <laughs> new kink unlocked. Mm. Just you wait. Yeah. There's a long list. <laughs> We're going to unlock them all in two hours. Wow. <laughs> where We're to gonna begin? Speed run. Um, okay, where to begin? Uh, <laughs> I should give you willpower damage for this. But <laughs> <laughs> But we're not there yet. So you slip out of your, your shoes or boots, I'm not sure what you're wearing, and into boots. these plastic perforated monstrosities that somehow, hey magically, perhaps, <laughs> feel fantastic. There you go. This you never felt it's like little massaging Cadillacs for your yeah. feet. <laughs> the only problem is they're hideous. This is hurtful anti-croc propaganda. It is. Yeah. <laughs> There's uh, more where that came from. Oh. So it's just... <laughs> Crocaganda. Now, to, to be fair, I hate them, but I love that someone else is going to wear them after me, and so <laughs> the pros outweigh the cons, but um, I'm definitely walking. I'm making sure that I'm making them break as much as, Oh, yeah. As I'm, and I'm patrolling, you know, making nice. sure that these other visitors that were here earlier have dispersed. Yes, the visitors that you encountered earlier have dispersed. So let's set the scene for the arrival of the rest of the coterie. Every city has shadows. Every city has alleys. Every city has dark shadowed alleys. But there is an alley in Seattle so dark, so filthy, so unhygienic, and so disgusting that it is widely recognized as one of the foulest places in existence. And I speak of no <laughs> other location but the gum wall of Post Alley. <laughs> Imagine it. Imagine it with us. A brick-lined, turn-of-the-century, narrow walkway, overhung with buildings on either side so that the shadows are deep and nearly complete. And on the Pike Place Market side, on the walls nearest the market, arguably the spiritual heart of the city, gum. 
And not just a few <laughs> wads. I mean gum. Thick layers of chewing gum left by everyone who comes to the alley. So, in a way, it's kind of awesome. <laughs> in another way, it really isn't. <laughs> and this, for reasons that are perhaps best explained in person, is where Betty has summoned our compatriots, the gum wall. The gum wall is free of interlopers, as far as you can tell. It is late at night, and even the tourists don't come down here then. Pike Place Market is, after all, haunted, <laughs> as everyone knows. So, yes, I will. let's arrive. <clears throat> exactly. So, I mean, uh, obviously, uh, let, let us say that, that uh, Jameson and, and Thomas um, are essentially walking through the valley of the shadow of gum and as one does, as you one. noticed that Thomas chewing gum, but he no, didn't come no. with any gum. Thomas, <laughs> Thomas, Thomas, I, I demand. I can't get sick, right? I demand to know the provenance of this gum. Look I, around you. <laughs> I am trying to make sure that I am always at the max. I'm like walking right in the middle. As far the, away, equidistantly uh, as you can uh, get. There can be no the contact. It's just free gum, man. Now we can't it's, get sick. It's just it free gum. It is not that. A lot of it still has flavor, too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah. Some of it's pretty recent, probably today. I mean, yeah. you know, juicy uh, fruit. This is still moist. Cinnamon. I, I mean, I, it doesn't taste great. I mean, we, We've been through this before, Tom. It all <laughs> tastes like ashes, ashes dirt, oh. no matter how appealing it may smell. Now, the experiment with the blender will, of course, live on historically. Sure. As, Just in vampire lore. Uh, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm certain rumors have spread to other domains about, about your culinary exploits. But without access to your, to your utensils, to your, to your Cuisinart or whatever you're using, the gum is just bad. He's still trying. He spits no, it out, though. But, he but, but, he, but he, he also can't give me a win, right? Yeah, no. Yeah, and he I just say, keeps throwing. It's good. As, and as we, are, as we are approaching the uh, aforementioned meeting site, I cry out, Beatrice! <gasps> Beatrice, I assume this is Jamie? some ill-intentioned assassination attempt. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, the contrary. I'm... Oh, also, let me, Tom, Betty, how are you? I'm doing well. It's good to see you. Oh, you look so good. We you are not so doing well. well. He what? blows and pops the bubble. This. How do you do that? <laughs> this wicked <gasps> man has, is even now chewing these scrapings. Mm -hmm. Scrapings. Mm -hmm. You mean from the wall? Yeah, the free gum wall. The very same. Uh, I produce a brick of gum. <laughs> that I have torn off of the wall earlier this <sighs> night. Can twisted. you believe he desecrated the gum wall? That's history, and he just broke it off. Yes, here is a twisted satanic ally for you. Oh, I like I, this guy. I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got Crocs! I break it in half and I offer you... These... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh a match made in Gehenna! <laughs> Hells! Uh, I... <laughs> I break my brick of gum <laughs> in half. I offer you half of the brick. Yeah. And I offer you one of the crocs. <laughs> one of the crocs? <laughs> Let's trade crocs. Let's trade crocs. Single crocs. I'll give you a croc, and you and give I, me a croc. And then, you know, let's just We're see croc what that brothers. does. This That's is how you thing. make friends. This is, a, is that a thing? You're going to have to put that in the next vampire book. <laughs> <laughs> Croc. I'm not sure I have to no, do that. No, 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 <laughs> no. Let's be clear. Croc brethren. Croc brethren. Oh, like like blood bonding. Mm -hmm. Your your croc bonding. That's beautiful. I, I sidle up immediately to Beatrice. Yes. With you until the end, brother. Oh. Oh, so you move fast. <laughs> <laughs> I say Let's you know. have. I see that you have found some mm -hmm. uh, uh, a creature as benighted as Thomas. They're mm -hmm. already engaging in some. Affair of the foot. Yes. No, I. R Rico is a new friend of mine, but he was. Uh, Rico? Yes, yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. 
so inappropriate. Uh, indeed, indeed, madam. I say, Rico hello. Rico uh, Suarez. Oh, madam. Nice to meet the acquaintance of. Rico Suarez, I yes. cannot tell you how pleased I am to meet you. I know several Spanish words. And <laughs> bef ere this evening is out, sir, I believe oh. I will have utilized all of them. I, uh. <laughs> I am a, 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 I know more than several Spanish words. Indeed, indeed, so, cultural exchange may I mean, be afoot. I, I'm all about exchanges. Yes. We're, we're, you know. Yes, buena note. Very good try. <laughs> 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 we'll work on it. I are we going to start them now? I spent some time at some point. No, no, uh, I, I, indeed, sir. I, I believe that we may have pressing affairs, but I suspect that over these next few hours, I will find opportunities to insert these words that I know you cherish. Yes, yes, it's a, it's a, it's a deep and meaningful part of my mortal history. Yes, yes, exactly. Well, here's one lesson, if I may. Indeed. Um, the way to properly greet somebody is... Tell me um, more. Eres muy guapo. Eres muy guapo. Eres... It is muy guapo. No, Thomas, it is Thomas, muy guapo. Thomas, but this do is like it, a secret greeting between us, just so you know. Like, that's it, informal. It's only when you've gotten to know somebody really eres, well that you no, can I, say it. It is muy yeah. guapo. Si. I, I believe that I have the eres correctly, but yeah. the mi guapo has nuances and richness. It does, it does. It does. It's better if you say it in a really soft voice, too. Indeed. Almost like a secret. Yeah. Wow. Something tenderly. Indeed, it is a, a, a medium of exchange and intimacy. I like your friends. <laughs> they are perfect. Well, now that we've reached this new plateau, <laughs> I think we're curious to know uh, what we see when we look at you. When we see Rico, oh, yes. when they encounter you for the first time, how do you appear to them? Uh, well, one thing to, to so physically, yes. uh, Rico is six feet tall, muscular, dark hair, uh, big bushy beard. So if you imagine a version of me that's like, 15 pounds beefier, a taller. Side of beef. As, yeah, a lot. Lots of beef. Uh, and a bushy beard. Really? Uh, and I think earlier in the night, there was something perhaps a little more stoic about him, but you've already, it's very easy to note that he's already shifted into something very different, especially after some time with you and now in the presence of our two. Uh, uh, I have that effect on people. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yes, dark brown eyes. Um, Is it hot? Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. Oh, I, I've heard everything I need to hear. <laughs> you know, that's, you know, it left I for other people's judgments. Less but. Words to be like, I'm really hot. <laughs> he takes off his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the and, and gives it to you. If you want to change shirts? <laughs> Tom takes off his shirt, but it's huge on you. Like, it's a tank top. It's a, it's a, it's a t shirt. I like it. Dress. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, I think that's going to fit. What, what do we see when we look at Tom, shirtless or otherwise? Uh, you just see a, a big, a big guy. Tom liked to eat before he became a vampire. Mm -hmm. uh, he's covered from head to toe, neck, everything, face, and tattoos. Are they good tattoos? Not all of them. I see. No. Ooh. Um, Is it like tree rings? Like you can sort of see how things were going for Tom, perhaps? Yeah. Not great when you look at the arms. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then he, uh, bald head, or closely shaved, and he's got kind of a stupid look on his face, like a cow all the time. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, you know, he's, he's, like a he's doing the best he he's, can. He's Tom. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Absolutely. What about Mr. Keene? What guys have you adopted oh, this evening? Uh, because I am among friends, uh, mm -hmm. I, have, I have not utilized any uh, of my uh, tricks or deceits. No subterfuges? No subterfuges. Uh, that is my abhorrence, sir, at least among friends. Um, I am uh, dressed I immaculately. I, I would not be out of place in the very finest um, uh, bars, uh, soirees. I I'm, I'm, I'm dressed like I'm going to a wedding, uh, always. Perfect, crisp white suit. A cornflower blue tie, um, pocket watch, uh, matching pocket square. Absolutely everything about it says we may be late for the ball. 
<laughs> what about the yeah, What about the face area? Well, unfortunately, this is perhaps somewhat less well put together. <laughs> the jaw uh, it occasionally must be manually raised. It must occasionally be reseated in place like an errant cable. Uh, the front teeth long, straw-like. The ears, Vulcan. Uh, and that is being kind, because they are at least twice the length uh, of that storied science fiction property. Um, imagine if someone was trying to make a political cartoon about an elf, and it was not a positive portrayal, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hair, what is it? Skin, pale, grub-like. Uh, but the rest of it is incredibly well put together. Um, Betty is dressed in her version of uh, casual, which is uh, <laughs> uh, basically Catherine Hepburn, like very high-waisted oh. plaid trousers. She's which hitting that she note. She thinks is very modern. A woman yeah. wearing <gasps> trousers. What an awesome. A That's modern a woman. Yeah. Oh. Is it vintage? Yes. Of course. Yes. She's had it for quite some time. She's wearing her riding boots and she has uh, suspenders on and... Um, she's tucked her hair under like a little cap that sits on one side of her head. And this is her casual look. And she has an incredibly long telescoping like sort of cigarette holder that she's holding rather unceremoniously she, in one hand. She, she came to play. Yeah. yeah. Push my half a brick of gum into one of the pockets in my cargo shorts. That's going to leave a stain. There's, it's going to be, it. yeah, there's a lot of stains there already. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I think Betty blows up. I can oh. never whistle. I never get that right. <laughs> you look great. Are you done admiring each other yet? Comes a voice from the rooftop. <laughs> familiar voice? A familiar voice. Nix. Looking up, there is a figure silhouetted on the rooftops, squatting. You can just see the dark figure against the night sky. Yeah, you all look fantastic. Uh, are, you, are you done now? Absolutely not. There's Absolutely more? Not. Yes. I, I was going to attempt several other pocket squares. Let me show you. <clears throat> no one has time for this. That's where you're wrong, sir. So, Uh-oh. Oh. The figure leaps all the way down two stories to a perfect superhero three-point landing <laughs> in the alley. The vampire, when she was alive, was a young athletic woman with a shock of dark, unruly hair. She wears one of those denim jackets with the faux sheepskin oh, collar oh, lining. Oh, yeah, yeah. Perfect. And uh, designer jeans, tall brown boots with a flat heel. And as she rises from her perfect Olympian landing, she steps over to you and puts her face right next to your distinctive features. I'll let the jaw drop. Ooh. <laughs> she reaches out to just raise it under the chin. That's Over her really shoulder, cool. she would hear as I like tap my cane. Uh, what do you Nick, want, Betty? <laughs> you are going to want to settle down. Otherwise, they'll be scraping you off the wall next. You know what this is? Controlled fear. <laughs> I'm Nix. We've met. Hi again. Hello. What happened to your shirt? Uh, it's turned into more of a dress, I suppose. Uh, do you want it? Mine's not really fitting you uh, very much, no. Yeah, I should take it back. <laughs> uh, I'll swap the shirt again. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to give you all the Crocs. <laughs> oh, God, they're so they're, warm. They were meant Love for it. you anyway. As, uh, now you got four Crocs? So you weren't kidding. I'm sorry, what? You weren't kidding. You actually came here to get those. Oh, of course. I put the extra Crocs in another of my pockets. <laughs> they were my little gift for you, Tom. Yeah. Oh, I'm wearing the new ones from Betty. My old Crocs go into the car. Oh. Yeah. Can yeah. you feel my footprint in I those feel Crocs? Your is that important warm. to you? It's very important you to me. You pervert. Yeah. That is... A <gasps> <laughs> they're like 98 <laughs> points in a perfect. Saying such sweet things Oh, yeah. It's like a, they're like a winter fresh mouth. The temperature of a normal Croc. Yeah. I give you licks a week. 
Oh, that means a lot coming from somebody that can't get invited to see the X prints because nobody likes them. Thank you so much for your very valuable input. Listen, I will have you know. Mm -hmm. I will have you know. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. I yes. will have you know. She will have you know. That you're yes. wrong. <laughs> Am I? Rico heard it. Rico, back me up here. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was a really pathetic display earlier that you had, and you didn't seem to make much, you know, leeway towards whatever it is that you're trying to do here, but it seems like you've been here for a long time failing at it. You know, I came here to do you all a favor, but now I don't really feel like it. Nix, if I may, I am getting the impression that this will, cern this will soon turn into a bloodbath of violence, and I am enthusiastic for its arrival. That said, before it begins, and before we destroy it, let me say that your retro ensemble stirs the heart. What's wrong with the way I dress? Oh, madam, I assure you, this is an authentic compliment, simply prior to its destruction. Right. I wanted to make absolutely certain that you understood that it was appreciated. Uh, if I may, uh, I've only known these three for moments, but it, they are, it already occurs to me that they seem to be very uh, direct, regardless of how flowery their language is, <laughs> they seem to really speak their mind. You, yeah, I don't need you, your help anymore. I have my Tom now, so you can just go. Yeah, we'll beat the shit out I, of you. I can figure it out now. <laughs> yeah. I don't need your little directions that you were trying to fly in my face earlier. Have it your way. She snaps her fingers, and from both ends of the alley oh. come oh, low, oh, man. menacing, animalistic growls. <laughs> Slinking along, loping, low to the ground, shapes canine-like move towards you from either end of the alleyway, their yellow eyes reflecting in the very dim sodium arc streetlights far, far above. There are at least two for each of you, whatever they are. You... <laughs> I thought you were a loner. You have friends? Pets. Well, you know. Crazy dog lady. The creatures yeah. come closer. Mm. And of course they are not normal dogs. They are coyote. Aha. Uh -huh. Common in Seattle. Common in Seattle streets late at night. That's Anywhere true. in these neighborhoods you may find them. Loping about, hunting, on the prowl. That's why I don't go downtown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you may not be from here. Yeah. This I'll is do a it. documentary. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> so... I like my odds. Now, shall we try again? Absolutely. I, this is an incredible opportunity. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Madam, I am Jameson Keene, uh, your friend and ally. Indeed, you may call upon me at any time. That doesn't seem likely, but okay. <laughs> and who are you, crock boy? <laughs> Tom looks at Betty. We killing this? See you next Tuesday? I don't like the way she talks to us. No. Something tells me you don't like it either. Mm -mm. Now, let me, let me be the, uh, the gentle cushion between these two. Tom is cracking his knuckles and trying to look imposing. He's just, a, yeah. he's just so big. I like this. But it's Betty, not muscle. <laughs> for the first time this night, looks gaunter than usual. Like she's trying to hold uh, something at bay. I'll, like a, just like a just like jaw clenched. Uh, I'll, I'll move to, towards Betty. I'll lean in. Uh, as I'm seeing you kind of step forward and take the lead on this diplomacy. Uh, you know, uh, mm. I don't like her much either. Mm. But we are probably being watched by people that are much more powerful than her. And maybe we should <laughs> play it a little safe for now. Can I, I bet I have like a, a little bit of an old Slim Jim or something in my pocket. <laughs> Can I toss it at one of the dogs? I think you have a brick of gum in one of them. I do have a brick of gum. I, but you're looking for something savory. I'm curious if these dogs, are they like vampire dogs? Do they not like? It's a good question. I mean, did, does, he, does he sniff at this, at this at meat this, stick? At this, at, this, at this leftover this yeah, little, shrapnel, little processed bit. nitrate filled Pepperoni cylinder rod. of whatever it is. <laughs> it's a meat yes. stick still. Tom, 
<laughs> As I look at your character sheet, I notice that the dots of Animal Ken are empty. <laughs> uh, uh, You're not wrong. So, here's what I ask of you at this time. At this time, here's what I ask. I'd like you to roll Charisma and Animal Ken. You have no Animal Ken, so you can't add that to the roll. You have Charisma, I believe, of two dots. I do. And you're at one hunger. So you're rolling two dice, one of which is a hunger die. The other one is a black die. I cannot wait for this. So this is yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see what you got. <clears throat> What are we at? Okay, the hunger die is a critical failure. Oh, God. Is it a skull? It's a skull. Yeah. And, and the, the black die is a failure. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, reach, I reach down with my Slim Jim to this dog. I mean, <laughs> Eat this, you little shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Storytellers sometimes wait for years for this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Happy to be of service. Oh, no. <laughs> I have so missed this coterie. All right, let's, <laughs> let's go, Jason. So, allow me to retort. Oh. Oh, no. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> yeah, good times. It was a lot of dice. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> mm, Five dice. Mm, mm, mm. Pieces, parts, okay. Pieces, parts. Pieces, parts. This is what we call, of course, a bestial failure. Ah. So not only do you fail, you fail in a horrifically vampiric way. Oh, oh shit. Here's what's gonna happen. Okay. Now I'll oh. give you the choice, the devil's bargain. Oh, oh man. <laughs> you can keep your hand. Oh, well, see where this goes. Wow. Well, yeah, I was just gonna say, surely the next one will be better. <laughs> yeah. Or, or you can go to Disneyland. <laughs> or you can take aggravated damage to your willpower your will to go on, your compulsion, your Ooh. resolve, your self-confidence, what you rely on to be who you are. If you take that aggravated damage to your willpower, you can't call upon those willpower dots tonight until you refresh them. Or I lose my, which hand? <gasps> oh, okay, now, now we're getting into some weird <laughs> shit. Oh yeah. yeah, which hand? Which hand did you offer to the yeah, dog? Probably my right hand. Yeah, your tattoo hand? I use that hand basically every day. That's yeah. your money maker. Yeah, I... You touch things with the 24 side. I feel like I need that hand. You feel like you need, you, need, you need the hand more than you need the willpower. I think so. An interesting choice. Very well. So, here's what happens. The coyote's jaws distend. Oh. Not unlike the jaw I of James this. Keen. Oh. They open unnaturally wide, and you realize this thing could eat your arm up to the elbow if it wanted to. Just in time do you snatch your hand away, dropping the Slim Jim into its mouth. It just disappears down the gullet. And you notice that its fangs are, of course, unsurprisingly, unnaturally long and sharp. And it's at that moment you realize just how closely you have adverted a bloody mess and the loss of your hand. And, and I feel pretty <clears throat> shitty about myself, is that? Well, I mean, nobody likes to lose to, you know, a dog, right? So. Uh, <laughs> I uh, feel a, a bond of sorts with my new friend here, and uh, uh, upon seeing that, I'm going to step in front of him. You're going to try to interpose yourself between the uh, Slim Jim eating yeah, hand Yeah, I'm going to push you back a little bit. And Careful, man. These dogs aren't fucking around. <laughs> and uh, I'm not sure if this has an effect on these creatures, but I'm going to activate awe anyway. Um, oh, interesting. Multiple and, things happen at once. Okay. <gasps> Multiple things happen at once. Tom, you snatch your hand away, drop the Slim Jim, the dog bites air. You feel something inside you crumble and wither in fear and embarrassment. Make two X slash marks through two willpower spaces Just that like are blank school. on your sheet. <laughs> Nix makes an impossible leap in the air to land behind you, completely over your head. And you can feel needle sharp claws pressing gently into the nape of your neck and she whispers in your ear don't move croc boy the dogs immediately break ranks and begin to circle you in the alley counterclockwise and you moving quicker than the human eye can probably follow easily interpose yourself between 
the Beast, and Tom. What about Betty? Betty, <clears throat> seeing Tom in danger is like oh, no. Betty's uh, Tom lets out like a long, nervous she fart. Gets into, she goes to a very <laughs> dark place, right? The coyote's nuts. So she um, activates her cloak of shadows, which she only does rarely, and you see that tall kind of cloak kind of come up. And uh, as it, you two have seen this in the past, it's formed of like writhing hands, like human hands kind of coming off of her. And um, she, has some, she has three dots in politics. Um, you want to try to suss out the I think substrata she's gonna here? Threaten mm. Nyx with an interesting proposition, and she says, <laughs> "Now, Nyx, you've been failing to move upward in this city for quite some time. Is it in your best interest to provoke people who have already proven themselves successful in another city and are eager to climb on the ladder here? Is that really the way you want your legacy to go out? Think carefully." Is this that Gravenstein thing again? I'm just saying. Within one week, we went from complete nobodies in that town to working for the tower. How long have you been in this town asking to give people directions just for a little crumb of an invite to a filthy hotel? I, I stand very near Beatrice now. And you see like the fangs are a little out and she's like, now I know you've got a dog brain, but kind of try to dig deep into it and think carefully and get your claws out of my friend. Is I it intimidation or is it persuasion? I think it's intimidation. I think you're right. So yeah. here's what we are going to do. We're going to try manipulation okay. and intimidation. So let's make a dice pool with those two characteristics. Three, two. And I think I get two from my you freaky get two. cloak. Yep, two extra. And, and then take, one of these is red. Take one out of the total and substitute it for the red hunger yeah, die. Yeah, that's that one. I so think. how many dice are you rolling? So that's... Um, seven. Seven. Right? Yeah, because three, <clears throat> five, and then two. Yeah, seven. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to uh, roll her composure and uh, Big money. her resistance roll. Yeah. Big money. We want a whammy free experience, Beatrice. Yes. Oh, that's good. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh that's good. What do you got? Three successes. Oh, that is good. I've got four, six. And then I've got a... Oh, you've got a critical success. Yeah, I've got a critical success. I've got One, two, two three, successes. four, five successes. So, <laughs> yeah. against three. She reads the room. <laughs> you feel the needle-sharp claws that you know could probably have removed your head from your neck. Remove themselves. <gasps> little pinpricks in your, in your shirt. One more though. little toot comes out. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just had Taco Bell. I give you... Six nights tops. Six nights tops. <laughs> she snaps her fingers twice. The coyotes stop circling, and they withdraw away from you to a comfortable distance. So, we all friends again? Yes. Indeed, and with a newfound respect for your menagerie. My what? Your beasts. Is this about my coat again? Oh, okay. We, the, the coat topic has been laid to rest for now. You heard Tully. You can't just loiter around here, roaming freely. Somebody worse than me is going to show up. And then this won't save you. That's fair enough. Now... I wasn't intending to loiter. We're new to the city. I've already made some you missteps. You don't say. <laughs> and I'm eager to fix them. Things went bad with an ex, and I need to get a Tacoma, like, now. This Tacoma so, sounds like a really, you know, Honestly, you'd fit in place. better there. You would fit in better there. You'd love it. Is that good or bad? <laughs> I don't want to know. I don't want to I'll let you ponder it. We, I had just gathered my friends here so that we could make our way to make a bar. You see, Tom is sort of my customary plus one so good with people. And, you know, if you take us, if you take us to this bar. You want me to take you to Mackham? Of course. And, and Nix, in return, you know. Uh, What's in uh, this for me? Of course. I, I know how to operate. I have um, connections in the bagged blood trade. Maybe we can sort out some side of deal and oh, I can help you feed uh, your massive uh, family. Uh, uh, Lay madame. Lay madame. Excuse me. Oh. One moment. Blood trade? Mm. 
Mm -hmm. I get my phone comes out of the pocket and oh. I put it up to my ear. Oh, I am out of here. Yeah, you, you, you are on your own. You find the Mac and Bar by yourself. I am gone. Toodaloo, losers. <laughs> she does another leap in reverse back to the top of the two-story building. Mm. The coyotes withdraw themselves from the alley at a respectable pace, we, and she is gone. Rico, can you tell them the yeah, thing about um, the portable telephone? Right, no, 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 no devices. It's a strict rule here. You should put that down, put it back in your pocket. Oh. Uh, that's a big no-no. Oh, I understand, I understand now. Also, abuela. Now. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's um, Rico. Like, Rico. I don't know grandfather yet, but I am keen to learn. Oh. <clears throat> now, I As feel... Kink is ticked. <laughs> <laughs> I feel as though, Beatrice, uh, and perhaps even Rico, you have not... You have left some information out, perhaps, uh, about we the town, get there. Yeah. We were about the meeting. I feel as though any of this information might have been... Uh, an incredible opportunity uh, for us to learn let, about the savage wilds of Seattle. Let, let me catch you up. Yes. So I need to get out of Tacoma. I'm looking for a job transfer. I'm sure you are as well, working for Gravenstein. It's, it's very frightening. He is so a hungry gentleman. I, I found myself in Seattle for multiple purposes. But, Indeed. Uh, there, I've run afoul of some of the customs, and I think maybe we should, uh, you know, try to smooth things over. And I thought you could handle the political side of it, and you could handle the more, you know, you're like our human resources in a bit. Tom is HR. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you okay, by the way? I didn't like how that disgusting hoe put her little. I don't know. I've, I've got some questions about myself now. I, mm. I'm just not sure. Uh. <laughs> Have a piece of gum. Take my flask. No. <laughs> Describe for me the issue uh, with my telecommunications device. Is the issue that it is a Samsung no, uh, no. and not perhaps an iPhone? That, I don't know what any of those words I mean. It's mean. a fair question. That, uh, <laughs> that is an issue. If but I had the same. <laughs> that is a separate issue from if, the bigger issue, which is none of those are okay. Mm. Mm. They, they are not enthusiasts of technology broadly. Well, That's here in Seattle? Yes, the there's whole a city? ban. Yes, there's a ban for uh, our people to carry those devices. But you know what? I'm sure if you did it on the down low, I mean... The DL, madam. <laughs> the what? Yes, well... Down low, DL. Oh, why, why would you shorten it? It's already a small word. Anyways. So this is a Seattle thing, a Seattle yes, custom? Yes, and yes. also a Are there part other of the ones Seattle that we custom. Should know. Uh, indeed, is, Thomas, I think you've, you've yeah. broached a yeah. fascinating yes. subject. Are. Are there any other things We're, that if I do them accidentally, I could murder myself and my friends? Well, well this, I don't know all of them yet. We do don't, uh, no. We, we're basically in the position to learn them, and one of the places, points of interest that we were given, essentially is this bar, so that we can begin making contact with the Prince of Seattle. Because we have to pay our respects, but there's the, there's the, like the prince, prince that got that lost, yes. and there's the new... Uh, Tell them about the loser prince. I am, I am quite confused. You are saying that in order to meet the prince, mm. we must uh, first curry favor with his defeated foe? Yes. It's very strange. Customs are very different. We're not in Tacoma anymore, yeah. Dorothy. This is a, a realm of perversion. I also heard that you shouldn't use an umbrella when it rains. That's how they know you're not from here. It's true. Huh. It's true. Oh. Really? It's true. You just let the rain fall on you. You just head. let the rain fall on you and you, oh. just, you suck you it up. You just That's let the rain beautiful. fall on this? Well, yeah. James, well, when you live in Ballard, how many people do you see carrying bumper shoots? Rain will not, huh. will not be touching this. Oh. Could get a pullover or something like a performance. Ah! <laughs> Absolutely not. I would sooner wear a snuggie. I'm gonna sir. take you to REI. <laughs> oh, I want to go. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Performance fleece. Well, let us. The Seattle disease. <laughs> Tom, do you know how to find this Makeum bar? Since our my only contact has fled the alley, do you, do you think you can employ some of your more modern techniques to find it? Uh. No, okay. but I know where the Space Needle is. Have you guys been to the Space Needle? <laughs> I was hoping we could do a couple touristy things. Is that not on the... 
Can we take some photographs? I, oh. I, I am dressed for it, madam. I would love to get some family photos. We, we, yeah, uh, I mean, I'm happy to see the sights. I'm newly arrived as well, and the gum wall is yeah, fascinating. Yeah, what, what are you doing here, by the way? Are you also trying to get into the... Uh, yes. You're looking for a career change. You're looking to transfer. But 100%. I am absolutely here uh, uh, with the hopes of a transfer of sorts. Uh, well, I like you. Thank you. It's, I'm very good at reading people. I, I can tell. Uh, I you know, like Google Maps, this bar? Oof. So let's think about this. Yes. So you're using your phone, your mobile phone, and you're looking for the Macam bar. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. It exists. It definitely has an entry. Huh? Okay. But there are absolutely no Yelp reviews whatsoever. Oh, indeed. Oh. I think there's better places we could go. <laughs> Oh, well, unfortunately, I think we have to. It's one of those weird things, you know, like the rules of this town. Did <laughs> you find it? Yeah, I mean, it's, you could. it's a few so blocks smart. away, but it's got no reviews. I I'm am, telling you, that's weird. I am hesitant. Uh, if, a, if a venue has below four stars, mm. it has zero stars. <laughs> mm. I mean, fair, fair. But... Well, we're not going there for service. No. For... I suppose instruction is what we're going there for. I'm going there to check a box, darling. Well. So it does show up on the map, though. I could theoretically lead them there if I... Yes. All right. Yeah. yeah. It does this exist. Way? Yeah, absolutely. I, I told you. He's very smart. He's no, I mean, we are... Out. Looking at my phone. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you just told me not to walk around <laughs> I know. With it. This is a little, you know, because yeah. Nix is gone, so this is the only yeah. way there. I'm uh, hypervigilant looking around because I know, I feel like we're already kind of breaking one of the rules, and so I'm kind of scouting. They don't it's even like DoorDash or anything, so I don't... I'd like you to make a wits and awareness roll, please. Okay. It, it may be a ghost kitchen scenario. It could be a ghost kitchen. Oh. Yeah. Wits is too... Ghosts are cooking in the kitchen? Indeed. Four dice Indeed, yeah, Seattle is a place of... I had heard history. there were wraiths here. I mm -hmm. had heard that. In food service. Oh. Whoa. That was good. I want you to tell me oh. about these symbols, Rico. Oh, my uh, God. Well, these symbols... Uh, these symbols? Yes. <laughs> I got two, three, four, five successes. Five successes. Wow. Jesus. You clock it. You clock it as you're moving, as you I mean, walk wonder. along the nighttime streets of Seattle in early December. The air, not yet raining, but threatening to rain. I mean, you can't escape it for long at this time of year, after all. You clock it. Big haste. It's one of the coyotes trailing you <gasps> okay. as you walk. It's keeping maybe 30, 40 yards away, but... You spot it. It's not I, threatening. It's merely following. I will point, uh, uh, I will whisper that to, to Betty. Mm. Uh, we are being followed, but not by the scarier, more in charge folks. Mm. Nick says Coyote seems, she's keeping tabs on us. I would keep tabs on us too. We are very cool and she has no friends. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Just, doing the same. just in case, I'm going to look over your shoulder, uh, Tom's shoulder, and I want to memorize the street corner of the, um, of the bar. All right. Uh, and can you then, uh, can you turn that off? It's here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can take my car. I parked it just around the corner. I'll pocket the cell phone. Yeah. It's only a few blocks from oh. away. It's down. I don't want to have to find another you space. Need to read it. It's so it's no. oh, it's, it's, it's I had to back in. I was yeah. Absolutely not. A, a prize in space, madam. You don't have a driver? Mm, I I'm a modern woman, so oh. I drive myself. That's <laughs> very admirable. Yeah. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. See, I, I also wear pants. I like your pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure trousers. Pants. Contrary to what you may think about me. <laughs> I am a woman. Of this century, very much. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. I smell her. Mm. I mean, we'll see. It smells like money. Yeah. We'll see. I, I lean closer to Tom. <laughs> <Just like. laughs> so, to the Mockham Bar. Indeed. I I'm looking right at the front. I'm, is this... Is this a zero star establishment? No, it most certainly is not zero star. It's a no star. Oh, I breathe a sigh of relief. I pretend to, at any rate. It is subtle, but upscale. There is warm yellow light from its bay windows spilling into the darkened December streets. Mm. There is a person or individual standing outside 
rather largish individual wearing a thin slate <laughs> shell. I shudder. <laughs> uh, can we tell if this person's mortal? You're approaching. Oh, indeed. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Indeed. This is our destination, sir. The instant you begin to approach on the sidewalk, the individual stands a little taller, begins to look at you. He doesn't stare, but he's clearly examining you each very, very carefully. The door opens, another spill of yellow warm light on the wet pavement, and a second individual, attired similarly, emerges, shutting the door behind him to stand next to his compatriot. Mm. How do you want it to tell if he's mortal? I'm activating awe if I need to again, and I want to see if it has an effect on them. So you, by the time you reach the door, you want to be unusually charismatic. Yes. And looking cool. Oh, yeah. You're looking like you belong here, despite the jacket, perhaps. It's not in what's on the outside. It's the swagger that you walk with. Well, we may have a difference of opinion, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it's good if we keep those differences. <laughs> James, are, are, you, um, are you doing anything to conceal your visage or to uh, alter it in uh, any way? Like almost like imperceptibly, like as I am approaching, as, as the light is increasing, I am becoming more and more... Uh, you can look upon me without revulsion, but it's a process that I make very gradual. As the light increases, so too... Um, do I become more uh, lookable? So using the, <laughs> using the powers of illusion common to your clan, I would like you to make a rouse check, please. One red hunger die and roll it. Calling upon the power of your vitae My blood to activate line. this power. Oh. Now, let me just get this over here because I couldn't see it. It is blank. The beast makes its presence known in your chest, in your gut, in your head, urging you to drink. Take one, it whispers to you. There are two, they'll never miss one. Do I identify them like instantly as prey creatures? Is it just like right in my body? I'm like, I'm like here is a juice box. <laughs> <laughs> the beast certainly thinks that they are prey. Whether or not that is the case, you have no way yet of determining. It is, a, it is an urge. It's visceral. Yes, but you needn't give into it. No, I, I'm, going, I'm going to tamp that down immediately, but just I forget myself briefly, and even now it's even worse, because I look like a normal person, but still the mouth is hanging open slightly incorrectly. I try to come up and make it seem cool. Yeah, yeah. Let's remember that you are at now at two hunger. Oh, I am perfectly aware. Yeah. <laughs> two I hunger. Think, I think Betty would look to see if the December cold is getting to them. Mm. Do they look like it's mm. like, is there any like that steam, steam coming though. out of their yeah. mouth? Mm -hmm. Are they mm -hmm. cold so, at all? Excellent technique. Uh, they have breath. They do breathe. So they're either mortal or maybe they're servants of the kindred, ghouls mm. in the common parlance. But they're not a, like you. They nod. Pointed out to Tom. They nod as you approach. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, no. Good evening. And off to the side um, to Betty, I say, they've provided hors d'oeuvres. No. No. No, no, no. no. Would you, would, you, would you say the proper Jameson, etiquette Jameson, would be to eat a little Jameson, from each? No. <laughs> no. The proper I need not drain one. Rude. Can you hold it? <laughs> I will, as a function of our rapport. Thank you. Thank you. Please just hold it for a little bit until we get inside. <clears throat> I would like to grab the door and see if he'll let me just open the door. I'm going to stand back and let them walk in. If he'll let me open it. So, he 
he gently raises a hand, and you have a choice. You can stop the motion forward, or you can continue <gasps> to try to open the door. He doesn't lunge for you, he doesn't make a threatening move, he just raises a hand. It's clear he doesn't want you to. Really? No, I mean, Tom is second guessing himself right now. Yeah, I was just, uh, <laughs> oh, listen, he's been thinking a lot. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's been an introspective time for yeah. Tom. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He's doing, a lot of, he's doing a lot of thinking about Tom. He's doing inside you know? work. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll stop. Are we going in? We, we were instructed to come here by uh, Tully. Mr. Tully, yes, of course. Welcome to Mackham. Thank you so much. Do we need a, one of those little things that go on the little wristband? It's not or? that kind of place. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to ask. <laughs> Thank you. They open the doors for you. Oh. And you are ushered inside. It's all gold and black. Golden light, Ooh. black Is it lacquer. right? Is it classy or is it ghost? Very Ooh. classy. The bar is underlit with golden lights that play off the black marble countertop. The highlights around the edges, the uplights are golden. The shadows are not too deep, but just deep enough. And there are other individuals in here. In Clientel. fact, you would say that it's um, a busy night. Ooh. There are several dozen individuals whispering, talking together at tables, at the bar, at high tops, whispering. You attract not a few eyes and stares as you enter. No huge surprise. Most of them are dressed in what Betty would probably describe as business casual of the oh. modern era. Mm -hmm. A few of them are dressed in more casual attire. There are some, there is some denim here. But there is one unusual feature of the patrons that you notice because you can't help it. It's too obvious. No need to roll. Each and every one of them has a drink in front of them. And those drinks have not been touched at all. They're glasses full of white wine and red wine. There are tropical fruit drinks and tall glasses with colorful straws. There are short balls, high balls, maybe a bottle or two of something. Absolutely none of them have had so much as a sip. They're just filled to the brim. Hmm. The ice is melting in the rock drinks. Wow. The bartender, tall. I think this is a vampire bar. You may be correct. Mm -hmm. uh oh, did I, did I cause this? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I was just whispering to James. <laughs> my dude, dude, now my Krohulik has been oh, abraded. No. <clears throat> I don't like that pursed lip. Are no. you making a note? I'm going to make a note. No! <laughs> Let He's me making make a, a note, note, guys. <sighs> when he makes a note. What is he making a note? What's he making a note for? <laughs> No one impedes you, okay. but no one greets you either. The bartender, tall, angular individual wearing a stunningly crisp white shirt tucked into his black trousers, mm. nods at you, acknowledging your presence as you enter the establishment. Uh, upon entering, this is very familiar territory for Rico. Is Walking so? into a place where there's a number of individuals and observing them all, uh, Let's remember that you are using awe. Uh -huh. You appear unnaturally appealing and attractive. And I then, with that, I do the kind of scan, disinterested scan across the room, yeah. making sure that everyone there knows that they're not who I'm here for. Okay. And they along with that. They should be so lucky, right? Indeed. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How can uh, they get on the list? If uh, only. There's ways. If only. And uh, I'm also looking for anyone that stands out to me as new, like someone who's looking around and is unsure of what, uh, unsure of what the customs are and seems a little bit out of place. Trying to read body language. Aha. Uh -huh. That's a difficult role, especially if you're looking at a bunch of creatures who are accustomed to dissembling. So let's make it, uh, you're at one hunger still, I believe, right? Yes, I am. So let's make that... Um, mm, I want to make it wits, and I want to make it performance, because you were trying to p 
pierce the veil of lies that people project into the world. It's a tough role. Okay. It's so. a difficulty. How many dice do you got? I got two. The difficulty is two. So let's. Uh, uh, yeah, big money. Listen, dude, you've been killing it so far. I shouldn't say that. Don't, yeah. don't curse me. You jinxed it now. Oh. Dude, you did it. Wow. How would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> this is all your fault. <laughs> Would you like to share what you roll? <laughs> yeah, well, a failure on the black die and the skull on the red, which is... Oh, no! That's bad. Bad. Is a bestial failure. Yeah. Now, I think this is a good point to remind you of something. Yes. Something I didn't remind Tom about. <laughs> but I'm feeling generous. Okay. <laughs> oh, you can re-roll. I can spend willpower You can willpower spend to willpower to re-roll the black die. You know what? You know... Let's just see what happens. Yeah. No. And also, can, <laughs> I like you, it. You don't this want motherfucker to... almost lost a hand. Well, you think okay. this is a game? But you don't want. To... <laughs> you got what? We're about halfway through. Let's see what happens. <laughs> but, I'm, but I'm saying that you don't want to. You don't want to. Have we unlocked another kink? What the fuck? What's wrong with you? You needn't spend. <laughs> you know I have this kink. Money. But no good money after bad, right? Even if you. Even if you save it, it's not like, it isn't like we can generate a full success on the pool. So right? It's not. It's it, just it's a 50% until you chance. Recover it again? Mm-hmm. Okay. Exactly. It's like a currency. Interesting. Yeah. yeah it's sort of a uh, risk management system. Right, yeah. Well, let's just double. Okay, you know what? I want to spend it just to see what happens. I'll let the fates decide uh, a little bit further. I'll you spend, spend the, the point. The willpower to roll just the one black die, right? Re roll the one black die. Oh, a success. Okay. Disaster averted. <sighs> Dang. But I'm Barely. so tempted by disaster, it's so exciting. What is wrong with him? Now. <laughs> oh, don't worry, it still gets interesting. You failed. You didn't meet the threshold of success of two difficulty. But you got at least one success. So you can succeed at a cost. So here's your devil's bargain. Okay. You'll succeed. You'll spot anybody who is new or dissembling, obviously, through body language but they're going to see you and they're going to know that you know. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Um, yes. I like that. You like it? I you mean, like the bargain? I want, like it. You want to ante up, right? I like pressing the red button. So, yeah. Um, ah. Yeah, that's cool. Let's do it. Okay. In the farthest corner, standing around a high top, there are two individuals. One is wearing a very high-end tracksuit. Designer, tracksuit nonetheless, but still, still a very expensive attire. And her uh, pale blonde hair is pulled back in a fashionable ponytail. She's wearing very expensive gold jewelry. Her companion is a tall, beautiful, Asian woman with long, very long black hair. Very fine features. And she doesn't see you. Oh. But the woman in the tracksuit sees you, or the person, I should say. She looks up from the glass of white wine that she hasn't touched, looks across the room, sees you looking, looks back. Her mouth opens so slightly to expose just the tips of her fangs, which she licks nervously. Mm. And then it's clear that she's making ready to leave this establishment, calmly but quickly. Very interesting. I agree. I, I'm gonna hold her gaze for a second and a half to Communicate. You're adept at reading body language. Do you want to try to send a message through the same means? I will. We're walking towards the bar. So I will <coughs> look at her as that she does that back to me. And I will just tilt my head ever so slightly to the direction of the bar. Which is where I'm heading. She looks at her table mate. And they exchange a wordless glance table mate looks out over the bar in your direction and her eyes fall on Tom and it's Evangeline. Oh. I blush. <laughs> Make a rouse check. 
You've called upon the power of the blood. Failure. You oh, get hungrier. Oh, they? It's a, this is the best, though. This is what we want. You're so we want cute. Maximum okay, drama. Good. So you lose it. Yeah. Evangeline so, is here. You yeah. lose it. Do I, so, do I see her you too? You failed the beast in the back of your throat. You know. You know she's the one. You know you want her. Go ahead. Don't, don't, don't mess it up this time. But I always mess it up. <laughs> mess what up? Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My relationships with women. Aww. Aww. <laughs> he just sits down. Aww. Where is this coming from? You've been having it nice. Indeed, I'm not sir. having a good day. Well, this seems rather sudden. So, well, you have, you have a surfeit of incredible features. There's so much to enjoy. I don't surf. <laughs> you, I never learn. Women, women are enthusiastic about the sea. Yes, huh. we are. Yes? What's the C? Water. Oh, I thought you meant like the, like the, the letter C, C like oh. you were abbreviating. Well, no, I like, no, I don't have a C. No but. doubt some women are enthusiastic about certain consonants, but I was speaking broadly about okay. the water. You're a poet. I, it's, someone should write down the things I, that you say and put them I, in a book. I, I, I'm, I'm too am, nervous. I, I'm considering a calendar. Sweating. You should. Why? You're beginning to sweat. Yeah. So you failed your rouse check, so you do get hungry. You're at two hunger. The blush rises into your cheeks. You can feel the heat of the stolen blood that you've consumed suffusing the skin. Little pinpricks of, of course, vitae begin to appear at your forehead and temples. And every kindred in this bar oh God. is now smelling the air and looking at you. I'm so, I had Taco and Bell. looking their lips. <laughs> it's the hot sauce, right? Yeah. 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 Evangeline. You don't buy it, you rent it. Evangeline and her associate <laughs> relieve the table and make their way to the bar where they await you. Oh, Christ. I say now. I mean, you came to the conclusion, perhaps hastily, that your romantic campaign had been a failure, yet even now they come. Behold, this is an opportunity to seize destiny, young man. I mean, do I feel inspired? It seems like a good speech. <laughs> I mean, your willpower has taken a pretty brutal beating. <laughs> it was such a good speech. It was a really it good was speech. Brutal. I mean, it's, it's brutal. a really good speech. It, it might be worth, um, you know, some sort of vampiric inspiration. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll approach the bar with you guys, but I'm definitely in the back of okay, the It's of the raw, group. yeah. You seem kind of defeated. Is your, you're deflated a bit? Yeah. Uh, that worries me. I look at you, I look at him, and I'm not understanding why this I've got be. this. I'll, I'll fill you in in just a moment, but mm -hmm. it's, uh, have I ever, I got this, I got you. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the lead of the group. Oh, dude, Betty is like 100% like wing woman bro, always trying to hook it up, right? Yeah. yeah. I like snap off my hat because I'm indoors, toss it, lands on a hook perfectly. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Clickety clack, my lacquered heels over to Evangeline. Evangeline is, as usual, attired completely in white. Mm -hmm. She is immaculately tailored. Mm -hmm. It's difficult to imagine a more beautiful individual. Evangeline, darling, it's been so long. How are you? Beatrice. <gasps> so strange running into you here of all places. To say the least, what are you all doing here? <laughs> oh, well, that's a rather long story, but <gasps> you remember Tom, don't you? Tom, oh, hey. come here. Uh, say hello. Uh, say I thought this was a gym. Me. I came here to work, work out. <clears throat> oh, oh, Tom. I have missed your little jokes and quips. Yeah, I was just kidding. How Isn't are he you? so funny? <laughs> he just... How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. How have you been? I cannot complain. You look great. You look really good. Thank you. Yeah. It's very kind and sweet. And I try to brush some of the Cheeto off my cargo shorts. She doesn't seem to mind. Okay. I'm surprised to see you here, though. I thought you were, you know important in the court of uh, Tacoma. Well, I, I, we're, we're moving up in the world. We got, we're maybe getting a job here in Seatown. The Emerald City. Yeah. Mr. Keene, always a pleasure. Madam, madam. You look splendid. 
splendid. I have lived in darkness since you were away. Me too. Well, I should think so. I was also in darkness. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, hmm. Oh, Tom. <sighs> Relax. <laughs> um, uh, uh, may I make a suggestion? <laughs> Please. Order a drink. Order what you feel tonight. <gasps> oh, yes, this rounds on me. As you can see... Bartender! Garçon! Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I, I, no uh, I, I, I lean over to Rico and I say, Cerveza. <laughs> Cerveza. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. Miss, what will you have? Hello, it's wonderful to meet you. Do they have like a... No name? Oh, that's hard for me. Um, yes, I would like to buy a round for my friends. By all means. Uh, What's your order? What's your feeling tonight? I want blood. <laughs> he looks at you. Oh my God, you're with, just fucking losing yeah, it over I got here. too hunger. <laughs> he looks at you with an absolutely sneering expression. Sir. This is a respectable establishment, and if you cannot comport yourself like a gentleman, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Oh, okay. even a Bloody Mary. Yeah. I'll ask you to leave. <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. he, he was Evangeline here. reaches over and she brushes your forearm lightly with her hand. You can feel her perfectly manicured nails just lightly along your skin. No. Um, no, 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 oh, no. Oh, Sprite. Sprite. <laughs> she seems visibly relieved. Her associate, whom you clocked with yes. the tracksuit, wants to be someplace anywhere else but oh, here. Oh, this is the at worst. This bar. This is anywhere, the else. Uh, anywhere else. So Sprite for you, moly. sir. Scotch, smoky. He looks approvingly and nods. Sir? Um, come back to me in a moment. Mm, uh, undecided? Uh, we have it all. Except Good to what? know. Um, <laughs> shoot. I'm going to try it. I'm a good wingman, <laughs> usually. <laughs> so I'm going to try really? to do something. I want to see it. So this is what I do. I kind of go to the bartender. Uh, just one moment. And I'm going to uh, pivot around to Tom. I'm going to put my arm around your shoulder. And with my face to his ear, but facing away from the women that we are engaging with, I'm going to whisper to you, it doesn't matter what I'm saying right now, you're going to chuckle in a low voice and a grunt, and then I'm going to walk away from you, and then you're going to wait a couple moments, and then just kind of chuckle again. Just trust me. And... <laughs> with... What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Look, I didn't say it was going to work, but I'm going to try. <laughs> uh, so uh, with that, I uh, let go. I remove my arm. I don't look at uh, who's Evangeline. Yes, Evangeline. indeed. Yeah. I don't look, but I look at the associate. And I hope. give one more nod. So I'm completely not acknowledging Evangeline's existence. She doesn't. She's not here. That's great. Uh, uh, I'm going to look at the associate. And then uh, what is she drinking? What's in her hand? She's drinking white wine. I'll turn to the bartender and say, a white wine. And I'll move a couple of uh, uh, feet down. Very good, sir. And then I just look at her and ask her to join me with a nod. <laughs> she nods. She looks at Evangeline again, nods, picks up her wine and follows you. And you, sir? <laughs> He's a, he's a funny guy. Mm. I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. I, it's, a, it's a personal joke, but it's funny. He's funny. You're adorable. <laughs> what about you, sir? Something for you tonight? Oh, it, it does seem uh, to be the fashion. What I require, sir, is the filthiest martini possible. The dirtiest. If possible. <laughs> Dirtier than that. Well, I, what I would like is a martini that is, by ratio, 
90% filth. I understand you. I understand you. You're going you're gonna to do well here. El elbow right on the bar, and I'm just, I'm just going to take the place in, but the rapport has been established. <clears throat> Your drinks are served. Rico has excused himself from the group, so we will have uh, two scenes. Let's begin with you, Rico. Okay. Back to the high top, standing at the tall table. Mm -hmm. She sets her white wine down. Do I know you? Do you? You look familiar to me. I get that a lot. I get that a lot too. Yeah, I believe you. So, um, you, um, what? Look, I know that you're new here. Yeah, so are you, so what? Yeah, so <laughs> what? <laughs> so what? Uh, what's up with your friend? My friend, what, Evangeline? Yeah. What do you mean? Because she gi doesn't give it away at all. I mean, I don't know. She's, she's good at this. She's really good at this. This, the masquerade. The... She looks around to see if anybody has overheard what she just said. I did. My nostrils are flaring. You'll say the M word. She's good at you know, <laughs> hiding in plain sight. Very good at it. And she's got friends. She's got friends in Tacoma. I think she's friends with Ryong here. She's, she knows the bartender. She, she knows That's everybody. Very interesting because I agree. She does seem to be very good at hiding in plain sight. But do you think that the friends that I've come in here with are? I kind of I mean, glance over to Tom. I mean... <laughs> I don't know what that's all about, but. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you this. this is, it's not my problem. It isn't, but if Evangel your friend, Evangeline. Who said we're friends? Well, who you're here with, your, your companion. Uh, Whatever. If she is as good at hiding as you say she is, then she's also pretty reckless if she's beelining to the people that are clearly the worst at it. <sighs> yeah, either that. <laughs> I vouched for you. <laughs> wow. Either that, or she's more important than you are. That's all I needed to know. Thank you. And I'll go back to my group. <laughs> oh, man. This night sucks. <laughs> Dude, the, the, the data extractor. Mm -hmm. Do vampires use sucks as a pejorative? I mean... Well, I think did. sucks as a positive. She, yeah, wouldn't she they be like, this did. sucks, yo? She just did. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> All right. Yeah. I I'll, will I'll allow it. I will wink at her in a playful fashion as I move away from of her. You do. To you. To, yeah. to me. Well, I'm walking to you. Oh. Oh, to You're... Betty. Mm-hmm. Betty is posted up like she owns this joint. Oh yeah. And in fact, she, as Rico comes up, I like don't notice him even because I'm casting an eye around to see who's here on business, like specifically black market, Aye. who's wheeling and dealing. Looking for your own, huh? Yeah, hmm. yeah. Well, there are a lot of sotto voce conversations going on in a place like this. It's difficult, almost impossible to overhear them easily. But um, looking around, you would say that um, near, the, uh, near the bay windows where you came in, there are two individuals linger over, lingering over what look like whiskey sours. And uh, they have the look. You wouldn't be surprised if the notes that they were scribbling on their cocktail napkins were columns of numbers and maybe diagrams of something. They look like they know how to move stuff. They've got really sharp suits. They look like investment bankers. Oh, this uh, is my crowd. Wow. Go get it. This is my crowd. Uh, Go get it. I, seeing that... Um, Tom is fumbling with Melting the down? Yeah. <laughs> I asked her if she's seen the Meg too. <laughs> oh, dang. Mm. The, um, I just, I wondered, I thought maybe you'd gone and see it too, because I, I saw um, it. I don't know if you saw I the didn't, first one. I didn't know you were a film buff, Tom. Uh, well, I like I, sharks. No, I haven't. It's uh, sharks. <sighs> I like sharks a lot, yeah. 
Well, you've come to the right place, that's for sure. Here, now, now, Thomas, my understanding is that the Meg 2 and indeed the Meg um, <laughs> are both you know, lightly obfuscated Moby Dick allegories. So there, is there not a literary aspect to these Megs? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think there's a book about him. And I'm pretty sure they were documentaries. <laughs> oh, they're documentaries. They are, yeah. It's based on real science. I, I haven't heard of it. I haven't. I don't get out to the. I don't get out to the to the movies very often. Um, but Tom, what are you doing here? This is not a safe place for you. I thought you were in. I mean, I go, I, go where, I go where they go. I don't really have anything to do on my own. Did you come here to find me? No. I kick him. Yes, I did come here to find you. I've missed you so much. Oh, I'm touched. I really am. But the last time we saw each other, Tom, I did warn you, we're not nice creatures. And neither am I. Are you sure Neither you want to be here? Are you sure you want to be in this shark tank? Indeed, your special interest. I do like sharks. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm here with my friends, and I'm here to support them. So oh, I me. see. The coterie. I That's mean, all I've got. I saw how you handled yourselves in Tacoma. And it was impressive. You got it all done. Are you, uh, are you here to do the same thing? Yes. <laughs> if needed. Great. Just great. Do you know how to get along here? Absolutely not, no. Mm. Please don't be offended if I point out that you are out of your depth here. This is not Tacoma. I pass him a napkin that I've hastily written in lipstick on. Dangerous creatures interest me most. And I'm not, uh, not opposed to swimming in deep water. I'm like, oh, you have a lesson. Hmm? Oh. 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 We should go. Yes. Uh, you know, dangerous creatures <laughs> interest me the most. And I'm not, I can swim, so I'm not <laughs> afraid of water. Oh, man. No matter how deep. You are, it is. <laughs> okay, I think I've worked that out. Um, <laughs> no, no, oh, no, no, I don't. Um, Tom, you know I like you, and I don't want to see you get hurt. I don't want to see me get hurt either, Evangeline. <laughs> so I'm going to give you, as usual, a little unsolicited advice. Be really careful. You don't understand this place. This city will bleed you dry if you aren't careful. It's not safe. Stick with your friends, stick close. Under no circumstances should you ever use your mobile phone in front of any of these kindred, ever. Copy that. I'm going to give you a way to contact me. Oh. It isn't convenient and it's a little slow, but I have the feeling you're going to need it. Something tells me, a little hunch maybe. <laughs> I, would, I would love to be able to get in contact with you should, should I have to. So I'll, <laughs> I'll do what I can, but like I said, this isn't Tacoma. This city is incredibly dangerous. It smells a lot better. Well, there is that. I mean, true. <laughs> I'm here for my own reasons, and if you get in certain kinds of trouble, I can't help you. There'll be nothing I can do. Well, if you get in certain kinds of trouble, I'm gonna help you. That's so thoughtful. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh my God. You ruined it, you ruined it. <laughs> nice. Last thing I'll say is this. Be nice to Mr. Tolly. Be nice to Tolly. Be nice to Tolly. Okay. Yeah. And he, he gives you some advice. It's probably a good idea to listen. 
Extra careful, Tom, right? Extra careful. I take a long drink of my Sprite. <laughs> Man. It was going so well. It was going so well. Oh. It was going so well. You had it. You had it right you, there. You had uh, the whole thing. You had it on lock. Uh, uh, while he takes that big drink of Sprite, I'm watching her. I want to see her reaction to his fumble. Sure. The bartender steps over really hastily with a bar rag to wipe it clean. He leans in and says, you have to leave now. I'm sorry, I have a drinking problem. Yeah, you have a problem all right, and it isn't drinking. I'll say it one more time. Say your goodbyes and leave. Oh. He cleans up the mess and goes away. Evangeline has several complicated emotions flash across her face quickly. The first is surprise and then concern. Mm -hmm. Not at the situation, but for Tom. Oh, she likes and then, finally, disappointment. That hurts. Uh, More oof. aggravated willpower damage. <laughs> so, the kindred in the bar are now all eyes on your quartet. Uh, I have a natural fraternal inclination toward Thomas. Thomas is not going to have to leave on his own, but it is definitely time for us to leave. Now, we can leave in two groups, but I'm gonna put an arm around Thomas, and, and I'm gonna, I, I will say, well, it's, it's, it's simply great timing for us, as we already had a, an engagement that we were late to. We're going to Azteca. <laughs> Azteca? <laughs> <laughs> and and I I'm and, getting the fajita quesadilla. Yeah, and I wheel and I, I wheel Tom around like a wheelbarrow essentially. Yeah. This is a lot of man, and I wheel him out. I orient him toward the door, and we leave together. He is not exiled from this place. Evangeline makes a quick mental calculation. It's obvious that she's trying to think very quickly about the situation. Her eyes dart around the room very quickly. She nods almost imperceptibly to herself and follows you out. Ooh, I'm, I'm following you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. It, so out onto if, the street. If I can stop her before she exits, I would you like want to, to try? very subtly, yes. She'll slow down, but she doesn't give the impression she's gonna let you stop her leaving. I'm going to then catch up as she slows down and all I'm gonna to say to her softly is, you care about him, I'll protect him if you help me. Ooh. Let's talk Boone's outside. I look back to see if Betty's coming. I'm at the booth. <laughs> with, the, with the... With the investment bankers? The investment oh, bankers. right. Mm, you then, got your own thing going. Uh, instead of going all the way outside, I'm gonna stay by the front door and linger a little bit yeah. because I don't like any one of us staying in no, here. between yourself. worlds, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. The investment bankers are of course, not among the living anymore. Mm. And uh, as you approach, they quietly turn over their napkins so that what they've been scribbling That's cannot fair. be seen. That's Reasonable. And they both stand up very politely. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing today? Oh, we're having a great evening. Won't you join us? Oh, of course. I don't believe we've, we've met. <gasps> I'm Betty, Betty Lancaster. Betty Lancaster, I'm Watcom. Nice how you to doing? meet you. Yeah, uh, this is my uh, associate, Rafe. Rafe, so for Jasmine, yeah. Watcom and Rafe? Yeah, it's not his real name, but you know how, hey. how, how the young are. Hey, man, that's, that's not nice. Shut up. <laughs> how are you? Swimming. How are you today? It's been a great night. It's Amazing. been a great night, definitely. And I'm still like swirling my scotch in my glass, but I also haven't touched it. I just like the smell. And um, I sit down in the booth if there's room for me. They've made room. Ah. I'm so sorry to, uh, I guess, impose on your meeting, but uh, I'm new in town and just wanted to do the courtesy of uh, introducing myself to the locals. Cool. Very cool. cool. I've been told I'm hip from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Um, look, uh, 
not to be rude, but we're here to meet somebody and we're going to discuss some business. But, um, you know, if you're business minded, we could uh, get together a little later, maybe um, have a chat. My card comes out with like a freakish strength. <laughs> like, <laughs> out of like, nowhere. Like, <laughs> Is it a nice card? Oh, yeah. It's tell, like, tell us about it. Yeah, describe it fully. The card itself is like blood red, and then on the front it just has a big gold B in like very flourishy lettering. Miss Betty, <laughs> pleasure to make your acquaintance. You are um, in business yourself? Oh, of course. I make things appear and disappear. I'm a little bit of a magician that way. Do they appear and disappear over great distances sometimes? Sometimes. Hmm. We're gonna have a great chat. We are gonna have a great chat. I look forward to it. Well, I'll excuse myself. I don't wanna make you late for your meeting. Cool, 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 cool. Just as a separate cool. concept. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. I suspect that banking and vampirism have a very deep connection. <laughs> <laughs> Who can I, this say? This just occurred to me. Who can say? <laughs> Who can say? And I leave as well. And you leave as well. Do you follow out? Yes. Or do yes. you? Oh yeah, I was waiting for you. So as soon as yeah. you turn and make any indication that you're leaving, I will uh, leave with you. Okay. You find Tom, Jameson, and Evangeline walking slowly up the sidewalk. They are now a safe conversational distance away from the door people. As I said, it's early December. And on this downtown street, the only other people that you see is a street crew with a truck it's busy stringing up holiday decorations mm. between the buildings. I love Christmas. Exquisite. <laughs> yeah, don't you guys love Christmas? <laughs> I do love Christmas, Tom. It is very festive. Right? Mm. I fucking love it, man. <laughs> My butler is a very religious man. He decks the entire manor in Christmas decorations every year. You'll have to come, Tom. You'll have to I would come love see to. It. Yes. Evangeline, you're welcome as well. Maybe the two of you can come and walk through the gardens and have a lovely walk. It's very refreshing. In the light. I could do walk. a gift exchange, you know? That's, yeah, yeah. So yeah, a white elephant. That's so lovely of you to invite me. I accept, thank you. Oh, of course. I like Christmas too. The lights, the music, you know, it reminds one of, of things. And this is um, something that Tom probably doesn't pick up, but Jameson probably does is I am like actually inviting her to my haven <laughs> as like a form of currency in the hopes oh. that she'll be nicer about Tom throwing up on the bar. <laughs> now that we are um, <clears throat> mostly alone, what are you doing here? <laughs> well, Tacoma has old spirits in it for me and I was hoping to uh, kind of get a job transfer for us here into Seattle. We met the acquaintance of uh, one Mr. Tolly. You've met Tolly? Oh, yes, yes. Well, he sought us out. And I will produce the letter that I got with a piece of gum. Oh, put that away. Put that away. That's yeah. disgusting. It's, it's just the piece of paper with the gum stuck to it? Yeah, the yeah. one that okay. led me that, to the alley. Thanks, I believe you. Great, thanks. Oh. I'm good, I'm good. Thank you. I'll put it away. Yeah, thanks. So, essentially, you are trying to what, move here? Um, I, 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 in fact, I think that we are succeeding. I think we did move, move here. I mean, I don't here. know that I would go that far. We're, we're working on it. But um, it's serious work. Tacoma is our defeated foe. We have reached its highest apex. And now we simply seek an opportunity to elevate ourselves. Well, and what better place than the Emerald City? I mean, you've come at an interesting time. Christmas. So we've heard. Mm. <laughs> Never mind. Um, <laughs> I mean, there are ways. One of the courtesies of Seattle is that, of course, you must gain the word of acceptance. The traditions demand it. But it isn't easy. We have to be careful. Don't you know? Well, I, I, I did hear something quite strange, Evangeline, and I would love to have it confirmed by you. Apparently, one must uh, seek the favor of a loser, uh, a, 
indeed, apparently there is a deposed ex-prince that one must cavort before uh, until such time as they may elevate themselves to the proper ruler. Are you trying to get him killed? I don't know who he is. You playing you Tom? Try- yeah. I hope he's not. <laughs> because if you're not, you could have fooled me. <laughs> you're talking about Lou Graham. Mm. You're talking about Lou Graham. Yes, she is. She was. She held praxis here. You might say, you might say that this is Lou's city. Well, indeed. I'd, so it you're is, describing a shadow power structure. Uh, I'm not going to get into it because I don't think I understand it all myself. I haven't been here much longer than you have, but you cannot disparage her like that. It's, I mean, maybe amongst your associates in front of me, fine, but it's, it's a quick way to say goodbye to your friend. So be careful, please. Yes, Lou is no longer the prince of this city. She doesn't hold practice. That's, that's Prince Campbell now. And, but the way to get what you want is to impress Lou. Well, that's why we found ourselves at this bar. Now, you can't make a first impression twice. We don't want to end up like Nick's. And I was hoping to meet somebody. Oh, you met Nick's? I'm so sorry. Yeah, well, met Nick's us. Did you, like meet, did you meet the, the, the pets, too? Yes, yes. Yeah. They were, oh, God, playing Betty is so interesting. <laughs> And I say pointedly, yes, she was quite cruel to Tom. She was. She was a real bee. (laughs) She had her paws all over him. Novel? Really? (laughs) Betty. Yep. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm like this. (laughs) (laughs) It made me really uncomfortable. Did it? Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Well... Won't this be interesting? Hmm. <laughs> you are like OOC. You are legitimately bad. OOC? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time to make another note. Oh! He's making notes. Uh oh. He's making plays. All right, here, stir so, in the pot! So yeah, shadow. stir in the pot! Stir so this, that pot, so this it's good! This everything. There's a shadow structure underneath this. I maybe, like shadows. Maybe Campbell is sort of a figurehead or even a mode of protection for Lou, right? Yes. And so I say to Evangeline, after making that really mean point, <clears throat> that's why we came to the bar to hope to find out how exactly to earn Lou's favor before we yeah, hurried over Nick's, there. Yeah, great. Nick, is she still around? Um, <laughs> is she here oh. tonight? I mean, is she around here somewhere? Yes. She rather, was? She had a hound following mm-hmm. Tom. Uh-huh. A hound oh, she had a beast with her? her. Uh-huh. She did. <gasps> did they hurt you? Almost. I mean, Nearly tried to bite my hand off. off. Yeah. Yeah. Sh- show. Well, I mean, it didn't physically hurt me, but no, definitely uh, took me Thomas, down a couple Thomas, notches. Don't, Thomas, do not put a brave face upon it. Show her your forearm. It didn't take my hand, but I definitely... I don't see any... I'm no. hurt inside. It, but this is the site of the crime. Oh, yeah, it almost took oh. my hand off. Oh, I see what you mean. I just, like, placed my hand upon Tom's shoulder. Like, yes, it was horrible. But I put my hand pointedly where the claws dug into his flesh. She had claws in my back, yeah. She touched you? She did? Yeah, she was going to, she put her claws right into my back. She was going to rip his head off. Her ministrations were thorough. I said, no, I don't want that. She didn't care. <laughs> and we were all there. She was doing yeah. it right in front of us. Yeah. Was, you know. Brazen. No decency to it at he all. He was probably into it because he's got a really weird list of kinks. Oh, I was just paying attention. <laughs> As a, yes, a little too much. Attention. I remember every last minute detail of that mm. encounter. Mm-hmm. But, but let's, indeed. Let's, if, let's put a pin in that. Yeah. But I, I get the picture. I get the picture. Okay. So, yes. Impress Lou and who knows. Do you have any tips I mean, for how we can what, impress Lou? What are the sacred traceries of yes, this Yes, what does Lou value? Is it, is it Tom? I mean, if I knew that, my situation might be a little better, but maybe we can help each other. Maybe That's we can what help I was hoping. Mm, yes. Yeah. So, first things first. The six traditions still keep them intact. Follow them all. No phones. No phones. I'm not going to say that you can't own one, but if they see it, 
it's a big problem for you. What about pager? Gray area. Okay, understood. Yeah, yeah. Just the beeper. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. The bar, be on your best behavior. Don't do that again, please. <laughs> Only make that mistake once or twice. <laughs> there are a lot of kindred who would like to get in good with Lou and impress her, get an introduction, maybe even meet her, get, get the nod of approval, right? It's not easy. So, but I've heard, I've heard recently that um, one of the kindred who really wants Lou's attention is missing something. Really? Yeah. Lou has looked favorably upon this kindred before, so there's every reason to believe that if you find this missing something, she might smooth the wheels of progress for you with Lou. What she's lost isn't going to be easy to find. I'm very good at finding things that don't want to be found. Somehow this doesn't surprise me at all, Beatrice. <laughs> mm -hmm. I see no reason why. I can't help you, you can't help me, and sort of be our fixer while we're in this town of Angeline. All right. We have ourselves a little conspiracy. We'll do each other some favors. Find yourself safe places to stay in the city. Keep a low profile until you get the word of acceptance. Tom. Evangeline. Mm. Would you, anyway, <laughs> help him. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try yeah, this. yeah. Um, the kindred is missing their ghoul. Their what? Their ghoul. Mm. <clears throat> it's a mortal who has partaken of our, of our vitae, our blood. Oh. And become mm, a kind of employee. Oh. I mean, there's more to it than that, but this isn't the time or place for that lesson. <sighs> I'll fill you in later. The ghoul yeah. is missing, and that's an endangerment to the masquerade, because the ghoul undoubtedly knows too much. So, hmm. find the ghoul impress the kindred, get to Lou. That's my advice. What is the name of this kindred? I'm not sure it's the first school that's gone missing recently either. There may be something more there, so. I am very pleased with this. This, this, uh, this is a great hook. You? Yes. The ghoul's name is Wendell. I know, I know. Wendell? But yeah. Wendelin? Wendell. Unfortunate. The name is unfortunate? Deeply. Ah. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get here. She points across the street. There's a couple of coyotes lurking behind a dumpster, watching you. Yeah, she's got a thing for this guy. Yeah, they're very effective. They're, mm. not, they're not normal either. We have to leave here. We have to leave now. We gotta get off the streets. Then let's go. She's gonna know we talked. Who? <laughs> Is Nyx really that much of a threat? Do you want to go fight those things? Well, no. I don't want to go fight those things, but also her jacket leaves something to be desired. And I had a hard time assessing her as a true threat. She's persistent. She's tough and resourceful, and she's got those things. Let's I mean, get off the She's not a nobody, but you can't, you can't go one-on-one -on -one easy. No, we've, we've, we've heard it. One more thing, Tom. Oh, yes. And please, I say this for your own good. I like sharks too. It's all a big shark tank. But remember, sharks are sleek, beautiful, and deadly. One minute, it's all gliding by silently, poetry in motion, and then it's blood everywhere. Have a good night, like everybody. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Not unlike this table, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. This seems like an excellent place to pause our vampire story. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
no, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> Unfortunately. Thank you all very much wow. for sharing this table with us. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Jason. Thank you for spending your time with us here at the Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle, PAX West Special Edition. Indeed, Seattle by night. And we'll see what happens next time. Thank you and good day. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much.